guys, it's the Gaming Mermaid, and welcome to another episode of the Sims 4 Descendant series. So, in the last episode, we had a lot of crazy things happening, but I asked you guys what you would like to name Mal and Ben's babies, and a lot of you guys gave me a really, a lot of awesome suggestions. <gasps> ben wants to ask Mal to turn into a vampire. <gasps> what do you guys think? Should Mal turn Ben into a vampire? Let me know your thoughts on that. But today, you guys gave me a lot of awesome suggestions for the babies, so we are going to go ahead and change their name. So I originally named her Malia because I think that was really cute and it was actually a, an in-game name. Um, so a lot of you guys really liked that one and I also got a lot, of, a lot of suggestions for Mallory, which I also think is a really nice name. So both of those were like tied together. So I think I'm gonna keep it as Malia and then the next name, the next baby could be named Mallory. So that would be really awesome. And then for Ben, um, a lot of you guys were saying Benjamin a lot of you guys were saying Bentley and a lot of you guys were saying Benji as well I got a lot for Benjamin and I got a lot for Benji so I think we're gonna go ahead and change his name so let's go over here and let's go to modify and create a sim so hopefully we can change their names and then we can age them up in this episode as well so that would be really cool and you guys can let me know what you want them to look like so oh no I can't I can't change them <gasps> Okay, so first things first, uh, apparently, first thing we need to do is exit create a sim and age them up. So we're gonna do that first thing and then we'll give them little makeovers and then we can change their names accordingly. And you guys also gave me a lot of awesome names for Evie's baby as well. So thank you guys so much for that. So we will go ahead and do that next. But in the meantime, we need to check up on our babies. <gasps> so what? <gasps> Sometimes I just wanna get out of the streets and go somewhere green. You wanna come to the park with me? Evie! It's, it's 10 o'clock at night, okay? But we'll bring some friends along. But I wanted to change my babies. Oh my goodness, girl. I don't wanna reject Evie though. I don't wanna reject Evie though. Can we bring our babies? Oh no, we can't. Also in the last episode, we brought Audrey back to life. So that's something. I think we're just gonna go alone, honestly. I feel like we should just go there alone, just see what's up. She's obviously feeling really down. So maybe we can brighten up Evie's day. She did just give birth. So maybe she has like postpartum depression. I think that's what it is. So let's try to cheer her up, try to make her feel happy, and then we can go back home and take care of our babies. So hey, hang out in the park. I've actually never seen this before. I'm wondering if this is a new thing that is happening. <gasps> Ooh, okay, so oh my gosh, don't compliment her appearance, but we can discuss recipes and stuff. Oh, let's get to know her. Let's try to cheer her up because obviously that's what she wants to do. And he also wants to call someone on the phone. What does Mal want to do? She wants to view a mural and become inspired. Oh my gosh. So so Evie and Mal are finally best friends and I did get rid of that awful weakness that made everybody hate Mal. So hopefully now we should be able to be able to become more friendly with people. It should be easier to become friends with people. So that is fantastic. Let me check on them. Are they, they are best friends. So that is great. So we'll joke about the old times, try to make her feel better. But honestly, I think we should just like go home. I mean, I feel like, okay, she wants to explore around. Maybe we can watch the fireworks. Oh, no, we can only extinguish the fireworks. I don't think that's what she wants to do. She just wanted to hang out at the park and stuff. Look at her running around. She is running around here. So Evie, why don't we go back home? I think maybe we should go ahead. Oh no, we can't travel because there's an event going on. How long is this event? Five hours. Oh my goodness. That is way too long. <laughs> oh, there's like food stands here. How cool is that? And we have like a basketball court. Can we play some basketball? Can we vampirically run here? So she did get a new, a new thing where she can vampirically run as well so I think that is pretty cool let's check it out let's see what that looks like look look how fast she is I am not speeding up time what <laughs> she got a little stuck there what oh my goodness that is actually insane why doesn't everybody come here together please and thank you so that we can have everybody join us I think that's Ben where is Evie where is Evie going? There she is. So she's going to come over here as well. That is crazy. All right. So she's already playing some basketball, shooting some hoops and stuff. Oh, yeah. Shoot around together so that they can spend some time together. Evie's uh, slowly but surely getting there. Slowly but surely. There we go. It's about time you showed up, girl. 
Let's shoot some hoops. Everybody shooting some hoops. Oh yeah, look how better their outfits look now that I actually gave them a makeover. They look so much better now. Oh my gosh, they look amazing. I hope that she's feeling better now. Let's give her a heartfelt compliment and try to cheer her up. Now she's feeling super energized. Oh, sod up. Well, it looks like everybody is getting really tired. So maybe we should just end this early. Yeah, she's not feeling too well. Let's see if we can invite her over. So I'm gonna invite Evie over so that she can be there. Apparently, Doug can't invite. Doug can't join us, so we'll just have to go there together. Alrighty, it's about time. They are back from daycare, so now we should be able to age them up. So the first baby that was born, I believe, was Malia. So let's go ahead and age her up. Oh my gosh. Here we go, you guys. Everybody's coming on over. Oh, son. Now they're still in their pajamas. Their athletic wear, I think. Oh my gosh, girl. You can do it. Here we go. What? <laughs> she has purple skin. Oh my goodness, you guys. I am so sorry about it. But she is going to have to change that because that is not realistic at all. Did you realize, Belle, that your child would be purple? Did you realize your child would be purple? Look at her. She looks so happy to be alive. But girl, you cannot you cannot be purple. Oh my gosh, Malia. <laughs> wow, I'm going to make her silly because that's a silly way to be born. <gasps> Ruby sent Malia a gift. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, they all got gifts. Oh, Malia, you are so adorable. But that skin color, no offense, but you cannot look like an alien. That's just, that's just not acceptable. I don't know, you guys. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts. I think it's a little silly and it does not look realistic at all whatsoever. Nothing against having purple skin, but it's it, like their child will never have purple skin in real life. You know what I mean? So I feel like I should change it just because, but let me know, should I have a purple child or should I change it? Should I change it or should I have a purple child? That is the question, the question of the hour. Let's go ahead and age up Ben Jr. so that we can change his name. Here we go. Where is she? Here we go. Oh my goodness, look at little Baldia looking adorable. Uh oh, okay, she's laughing. I thought she was crying and I was like, oh no, oh no. Here we, oh my goodness, are you serious? <laughs> look, he's so happy to be alive too. But honestly, no, sir, you cannot be purple. What? What? Ben Jr. I'm gonna make Ben Jr. inquisitive. He's gonna ask a lot of questions about life. Okay, well, you guys are adorable, but you cannot do this while Sim is aging up, but, but he already aged up. Okay, well, we have purple children. What in the world is going on? What in the world? <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. That is just too much. That is too much. All right, can we like modify you guys now? Wow, that was crazy. That was definitely unexpected for sure. Oh my gosh, Prince Charming has sent a gift as well. Okay. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, girl. How do you even have this skin tone? How is that even possible? I don't know. It's not even an option. How is that possible? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna save the game while they have purple skin and then I'll give them a makeover and then you guys can let me know which one you like best. Do you like them with purple skin or do you like them with their re what, what should be their realistic skin? Let me know your thoughts about that. Okay, so we are back. Starting off with Malia. I, I'm sorry. I cannot. <laughs> I cannot. I would imagine she would have either really pale skin from Mal or she would have like somewhat in between from Ben, you know? I, I mean, that's what I would imagine. Maybe I'll make her a little bit more pale so she'll look a little more like Mal. She has purple eyes, so that's really nice. That's really cute. The hair, I definitely want to change um, to something that looks really, really cute because I want to use my cute hairs. I want to use all my cute hairs. I kind of want to give her purple hair so that she looks like her mom, you know? This one is super cute. I think we're going to go with this one. <gasps> that one's super pretty too. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I kind of want to go with this one actually. I'm going to go with this one. Let's see if there's any other options. We can give her some eyelashes and I kind of want to give her this bib, but it's kind of glitching out so we won't do that right now. We can give her lipstick. Nah, I don't know if I want to do that. Well, it looks cute. Maybe some lip gloss like that. Yeah, that looks really cute. <gasps> Can we give her, oh, I thought those were freckles. I was like, oh, can we give her freckles? <gasps> Maybe we should give her freckles. <gasps> we can, oh, oh, oh my gosh. That looks so cute on her. I'm gonna give her freckles, you guys. I haven't given anybody freckles. So I think it's high time I actually do that. Okay, so she's gonna have freckles. She looks so cute now. <gasps> 
Yay! Let's change her outfits. This is apparently a new one, but I am not a fan. She actually looks adorable with this one, and I'm gonna change her shoes. Yeah, I think that works. Oh, she is so cute. So this is her everyday wear. Let's move on to her formal wear. What in the world is she wearing? Oh, she looks so cute though. But I kind of want to give her something like this because I think it looks absolutely adorable and purple. Yeah, and like a lavender color. Let me get rid of these glasses she has going on, these sunglasses and stuff. There we go. So I'm gonna go with that for her formal wear. She looks super adorable. <gasps> And here is her sleepwear. So I'm actually going to get rid of that. Maybe we can give her some socks or not. What? <gasps> Look how cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I love it already. That looks, oh my gosh. That is adorable. <gasps> her hair color. Oh no, her hair color changed. We have to change it back. Gotta change it back. Please, please keep the hair. <gasps> please keep it. Okay, hopefully that works. Oh no, her hair her hair color. Please, please stay. Okay, so this is supposed to be her party wear. So I don't think she would wear that for her party wear, you know? Maybe, ooh, this one is really cute. Is there a purple one? Oh, that's really cute though. There's a galaxy one. I like it. I really like that one. So here's her party wear. I kind of like it. I think it looks really cute. Hopefully her hair stays purple because I have a, uh, I have a problem with it changing colors. Okay, so that is Malia and she is part vampire, you guys. Oh my goodness. So next up we have Ben Jr. over here. Oh my goodness. This poor child. I'm gonna make him. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna make his skin a little bit like Ben's and then I actually really like this hair on him to be honest. We'll make it. I don't know if I should make it like a light brown or if we can even do that. There's no like real light brown. It's either like red, a dark blonde. I'm gonna make it. A, I think I'm gonna make his hair brown. I think that's what we are gonna do. He has like dark blue eyes, which looks really nice. I don't know if I wanna give him any lipstick, but I do wanna give him some eyelashes so that, you know, they're popping out a little bit. Oh my gosh, this looks so adorable. I love it. We're gonna go with that for little Ben Jr. His everyday wear, oh my gosh, that looks so cute. I'm gonna keep it. I'm actually gonna keep that one and then just change his shoes a little bit. There we go. And then for his sleepwear, let's see, that actually looks pretty nice already. And then that is his party wear let's just change his shoes and i think that is actually pretty good to go so here are the little makeovers again let me know your thoughts about changing the skin color but i think this is more realistic right in my opinion i think it would be more suitable for them so that is their new makeovers i hope that you guys will like them and let me know what you guys think oh also we should change his name so like i said there were a lot of people that said benjamin um there were a lot of people that said bentley which I think is a really nice and unique name as well. And then there were a lot of people that said Benji as well. So I'm gonna go with Benji, but um, if we have more babies in the future, I will definitely use Bentley because I really like that name and then possibly Benji, Benjamin as well. And then Malia, we could also name her Mallory. So I think that one would be a nice option as well for a future baby. So if you have other baby name suggestions, you can always let me know in the comments down below. All right, you guys, look how cute they look. Oh my gosh, let's teach her to talk. Look how cute. Oh, she's super happy and sad at the same time. I don't know how that works. And let's check up on little Benji over here. How are you doing, boy? How are you doing? Yeah, he's super silly. Let's hug him lovingly and let's actually do some stuff with them. You know, let's actually teach them stuff. So he is super inquisitive. So I'm gonna go ahead and just straight up teach him some basic needs with some flashcards and things like that. And while they are gonna go ahead and do that, oh, and her hair actually stayed purple. I am so happy with my life right now. Look, something actually worked for once. That is fantastic. Look how cute they are back there doing some flashcards and stuff. I think he's really excited to learn, which is fantastic. She, oh, she looks so cute as, oh, okay. I don't know, she's kind of bipolar, to be honest. I don't know what to do with poor Molly over here. She's kind of like happy and sad at the same time. And Ben's like, I'm just tired. <laughs> All right, so in the meantime, I'm actually gonna go ahead. Where did Evie go? Because we need to know what's going on with her as well. So she is on the computer. I think we should go ahead and take control of her. So let's go to modify and create a sim. Take control of Evie and then we can go ahead and age up her new baby boy. All right, so we are back home with Evie and Doug. <gasps> Witness to a bully. Some kids at school were being mean to one of my friends. I wanted to help, but I didn't know what to do. What do you think I should have done? Step in and stand up for your friend. Come on, dude. I believe in you. You can do this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, the baby is crying. Oh no, he's got a dirty diaper. Jane, get out of my way. Get out of my way, Jane. Jane, you are in my way. <gasps> oh my gosh. 
Evie, run for your baby. Run for your baby. She's gonna go ahead and, and feed her baby, and then we need to change his dirty diaper. Oh my gosh, look at him. <gasps> Jade, what, are you, what is this? Oh my goodness, Jade. I don't know what's happening with you. Why don't you use the bathroom? She's just standing there with her awkwardly glitchy feet. I don't know what is going on with that. So now that you are all good to go, little boy, let's go ahead and age him on up. Here we go, you guys. <gasps> oh boy. Oh my gosh, he actually has normal skin. <laughs> oh my gosh, look how cute. Wow, I see a lot of Doug in him for sure. That is fantastic. Wow, that is amazing. <gasps> All right, so Don, little Don over here. I'm gonna make him Kalingi, to be honest. Yes, there we go. Oh my goodness. And again, I haven't seen the comments. Oh, and again, I have a lot of awesome name suggestions. So let's go into Create a Sim and we can go ahead and view the, those all together. So here we are in Create a Sim. So like you guys know, obviously the mother of Evie is Evil Queen. Then she has Evie. So if we had a daughter, we would have a lot of cool options, but we don't. We have a son. So I have some, some names. The most suggested and the most obvious would be Douglas, which is a longer version of Doug. But I feel like that would be too repetitive. So the next one we have is Drake. We have Daniel and we have David. Those were the ones that were the most suggested. So I'm gonna go with the first most suggested one after Douglas, which was Drake. And I think we will go ahead and go with that. And then if we have future babies in the future, we can go ahead and name them the other awesome names as well. But I think for this first baby, we're gonna name him Drake. I think that is pretty awesome indeed. And I really like him, he looks really cute. And I kind of like his outfit already. He's got like a red theme going on. Maybe we can just change his shoes a little bit. He's kind of a little bit of a, a rebel of some sort. I think I'm just gonna change his pants to be something like that. Yeah, I think that looks really nice. Maybe we can change his hair as well. So obviously he has blonde hair, so we're gonna go ahead and stick with that. But oh, I really like this hair. I think I gave this hair to Benji, so I don't wanna give like the same thing over and over again so let's see if there's an option for it like well look at Doug okay and then what can we do oh we can give him a really cool hair really cool looking hair but I don't know I don't think that would suit him we can give him something like this I think this would suit him quite well that looks like something Doug would have too so I'm gonna go with that for his everyday wear his formal wear actually looks really cute his sleepwear is adorable as well but I kind of want to change the color of it so he had like a reddish theme going on so I think we're gonna try and stick with that as much as possible and then for his party wear I'm gonna go ahead and give him these jeans I think they look really nice on him and then for the top We'll give him this one because it looks really nice. Oh, I already have that for the everyday wear. Never mind. We're not going to do that. Party wear. I think we'll just give him like a plain basic t-shirt and I'll give it to him in like an orange color <laughs> so that it matches these crazy looking boots he's got going on. So there is little Drake. He looks absolutely gorgeous and adorable and I hope that you guys like the name as well. So let's go in the game, spend some time with our new babies and all that stuff. All right, so here he is in the game looking super adorable and you know what I think dude should become friends with him he's embarrassed <gasps> why is he embarrassed oh no privacy invaded somebody walked in on him while he was using the bathroom he wants to chat with Evie so that is very fitting let's get to know him oh my goodness tell him a goofy story oh my goodness we're gonna become hopefully become good friends with little Drake over here he needs somebody to cheer him up he needed he needed somebody to become friends with so you know what this will be perfect oh uh oh he's feeling sad <gasps> why is he sad oh no okay I think he's feeling better now yeah oh that is so cute I don't know if we can become any better friends with him other than oh we can hug him oh <gasps> wild dude is in his bare face oh my goodness he is a crazy one he is a crazy one indeed let's brighten his day yeah Oh, I think they're gonna become the best of friends, which is fantastic. He is super happy. Look, Doug is here. Oh my gosh. So let's go ahead and talk about his day. Let's hug him lovingly and spend some time. Let's read him a book because I think he is clingy. Um, so he definitely will want to spend a lot of time with his parents as well. Evie reached parenting level two, so that's fantastic. That is fantastic indeed. And I think we should make him really smart. I think we should make him really smart. So what I want to do is I want to try and like teach him stuff, teach him 
a lot of things. We want to teach him a lot of things. So I'm going to go ahead and do some flashcards with him as well, just like I did with Benji, and try to make him really smart and stuff like that. There we go. Oh, I think they are going to be the best of pals. So look, he is feeling so much happier now that Benji, I mean, he is feeling so much happier now that Drake is in the picture here with us together. So that is fantastic. I don't know how much longer dude has as a child. Oh, he has plenty of time. He has plenty of time. Oh my gosh, did you see that? I'm a bear. <laughs> Be the bear. This child will accept nothing less than dressing as the amazing fruit themed ruler of the forest. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, dude. You are something else. <gasps> he doesn't like it. He doesn't want to be taught. Interesting. Well, that's too bad, Drake. You're going to be super smart. You're going to be super smart whether you like it or not. So how is he feeling? Uh-oh, he's getting hungry. Oh no, you have to feed him. Go ahead and give him some food here. Hopefully he doesn't reject her. Please. Just be a good child. You want pizza? Yeah, he wants pizza. Of course, every child loves pizza, apparently. Oh, how convenient. There was a chair right there. Oh, he's sad. Why are you crying? Oh, no. Oh, he hates the flashcards. Well, eat your peas. Eat your peas. Whether you like it or not, you're going to eat healthy. Okay. He's like, okay, Bob, I will just grudgingly eat my peas, but I'm going to go ahead and end this here. We aged up the children, we renamed them, we gave them makeovers, so let me know what you guys would like to see with them in the future. I'm going to try and like actually make them smart and play with flashcards and teach them all that kind of stuff as, as best as I can, um, as long as my game doesn't glitch out and freeze. We're good to go, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to give this video a like if you are new subscribe to becoming mermaid or a merman but thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye guys